If you are a newcomer and have never heard of FGC Wrestling before, this description is pretty good except for the last bit. The last bit says, hope you continue watching, which makes me wonder, how can we continue watching if we are yet to watch it? Have we watched these videos before and we just never knew it? Mind blown! In the very first video on this channel, a year before I joined as the official commentator, I noticed that FGC tried to let the audience know that he was the one in the yellow shirt. But from the way the arrow is positioned, it's actually pointing over at Happy Jack. FGC is a discount RVD. Even FGC admits that his commentating was not so good as he was super quiet, probably one of the many reasons why he asked me to join the team. I don't judge these guys for the way they wrestle, but as their teens just having fun for the hell of it. The only thing I judge is the FGC championship being placed onto the top of that trampoline cage. Like you couldn't have found a better place to put it. Also, it took almost a whole minute for that championship to be successfully placed. FGC forgot to bring a microphone into the mix even if it didn't work, or at least put the camera in a better place. Wait, we're going to commercial break. We'll be right back. Ah! Hope you're liking FGC. FGC Wrestling actually promoted their own commercial breaks. You should be watching it on the FGC Network. FGC Network. And for the large, you could get it for only $4.99. Bullshit. At least here in Canada, it's bullshit. Why does America get all the good freaking deals? Little Caesars, WWE Network, Bootios! Hope you enjoy, and don't forget to eat the pizza pizza. Wrong pizza company, man. Yeah, FGC is looking in the camera. He's asking for help. First of all, he wasn't asking for help at all. Second, if he asked for help, why would he ask a video camera for help? <laughs> don't try this at home, even though we are. These guys didn't have an actual ladder for their ladder matches. Looks like a gate that they're using, but whatever the case, they could have renamed it fence match or something. Then again, you guys would probably think it involves swords. Oh, he's running. Where did those mattresses come from? Oh, he hit some. Look at that. Red Skull is apparently unaffected by any post-match assaults. Impressive. He might just be stronger than today's current wrestlers in WWE. We are having a match at the moment. I guess another reason why I was called up to be the commentator for FGC Wrestling is because FGC was always being Captain Obvious. And again, I kinda was too. The first two times I appeared on FGC Wrestling starting April 10, 2016, I was labeled as a guest commentator because I originally signed on a one-time agreement, which then turned into another, which then turned me into the official commentator. I don't know why FGC needed me, as the channel was doing so good without me, but I am not one to complain about that. If you're wondering, yes, the effects added in, including the nameplates and the match's official theme song at the beginning was created by me, yet I still didn't get paid for that. After our recent champion was forced to vacate. FGC may be a good wrestler, but his job as a referee really irritates me. Also, apparently FGC can become a guest referee anytime he wants. Does he regret his decision of allowing Epix to become number one contender? Funny how I think about this. FGC helped Epix win a match to become number one contender to his FGC championship, and he ends up getting annihilated and loses his title in the next match. FGC Wrestling labeled the title match between FGC and Epix as the best match, which makes me laugh so hard I can't breathe. Even though FGC vs. The Superior one was labeled as a no disqualification match, I forgot to mention that throughout the match itself and somehow didn't get fired for that. Even though there was a Twitter link on this channel, it actually goes straight to FGC's Twitter account, which is CheetoMonster47. The sin here is there is no official Twitter account with only updates on FGC Wrestling. All in all, FGC Wrestling is a pretty good channel. It's a wrestling channel with a bunch of fans wrestling for fun and And to make things better, they have me on deck as the official commentator. Hell, I even personally created a video myself just for the FGC Wrestling channel. I encourage you all to subscribe to FGC Wrestling, be entertained with their matches, and you get to hear my awesome commentary too.